So for today, we're going to be looking at the NPA armor for the Warlocks. If you guys haven't seen the full review of the armor, I'll have it up right now. You guys can check that out. We go over how the armor looks, how it shaders and my personal thoughts and some cool interactions that the armor has with preserving shaders not only that but we also already have done the hunter sets which is right here you guys can check that one out uh and the titan one as well you guys can check that one out right here these two are basically where we're going to be doing in this video where we're combining pieces from this set and making them into full sets and this is not new if this is your first video it might be new to you but for the people who have like subbed for a while you guys will know that after we review the armor set we usually go and make armor sets out of the pieces of that armor set so really like these videos just because they really do push me to make some new stuff and this one's probably the wildest one aside from probably the last one but the last one uh you guys will understand why i use those pieces that i did so let me know what you guys think other than that let's uh, get into it so for the first one we're going to be using the chest piece we're not going to be using the helmet just because i pretty much hate the helmet and the arms are going to be in another set. So the chest piece is going to be what we're starting with because I think it is the strongest set I have. So for this one, we're going to be using the arc like hood for the helmet because I'm combining it with the alternate alternate conduction ornament for geomag stabilizers and then the painted Katsune gloves for that electrical look as well. So this is full blown electrical. Um, I'm not even going to like front about it because the helmet has a lot of electrical currents going on. Same thing with the painted Kintsune gloves and then the alternate conductive has a lot of that as well. So clearly this is an arc build that I'm doing and I think it looks really, really cool, especially the chest piece because the stalwart tenant gives this really cool blue. It almost looks like liquid light, like lightning is going through it. It looks really cool, which is why I was like, I'm going to go and try to make like an arc build with it. And then for the bond ancestral bond with chit and slate so I can have no bond on that because I didn't want a bond and I think it looks fucking cool like this. So I definitely really, really like this set. It's probably my favorite set and I will probably use this when I'm using Geomags. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one because I think it is a banger. For these shaders, we're going to be using the Miso Pelagic uh, shader because there is a lot of chrome in there and I didn't want Stalwart because Stalwart has a lot of orange in there and I didn't want too much orange in this. For the other pieces, it's going to be Stalwart Tenant because that shader is amazing and it gives a really good glow. Uh, specifically a blue one and then for the bond chit and slate because chit and slate actually usually turns off glows i say usually because there's sometimes it doesn't and yeah that's pretty much it for the shaders uh warlocks let me know what you guys think for the next set we're going to be using a set that i got from the guardian games video which you guys can check up right here with the exception of ancestral bond being in here again but actually using the glow for it and then the boots from the NPA set because I think it looks really cool. Almost look looks like uh, when I when I first saw the boots, it reminded me of of a uh, Bane from Batman, and I was like, man, it kind of looks like like she's getting injected with like steroids so she could run faster or something. And that's like literally the whole like spiel about this. And I was like, that's it. I'm gonna combine the contender robes and cunning of the contender gloves with the gaze beyond stars so that that set that I made. So that way it kind of looks like he, she even has like a two and one on her thigh on the left side. So it kind of looks like she's competing in something. So that's kind of like the whole spiel about this. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one. I do apologize. This is taken from another set, but like I had a theme going around the boots, so, which is why I'm using that. Uh, same thing for the last set, the arms and the bond. This one, if you guys do remember, this is from my like battle warlock look that I made for the Nezirak Sin. It's all completely the same except for the arms and the bond. The bond I decided to use in there because it does look hefty as fuck and it does have like some stuff in there that I was like, hey, it looks cool like that. And then for the arms, I decided to use those because it's just pure plate armor. And I was like, fuck it, we'll do that. And then honestly, I probably would just switch out Nezirak Sin for something else. But yeah, for the shader, we're gonna be using Scarlet Semblance just to give that like more bloody look. But I really do like this set. I know I'm taking from Nezirak, the battle Nezirak sin look that I did, but I think the arms and the bond make this look a little bit more different. And I'm actually using different boots as well. We're using legacy oath boots, which is not the boots that I usually use for my battle warlock look. But again, I would probably just switch out the helmet for something else just because uh, I don't think uh, Nezirak looks good with it now that I'm looking at it. I think it's, I need we need another like battle looking Warlock helm. So I would probably just switch this out. But Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. That is pretty much it. I only made three sets for these classes just because uh, 
that's all I really wanted to do be considering that there's some pieces from the Titans and the Warlocks where I was just like, I'm not going to use it. Like specifically for the Warlocks, I was never going to use the helmet. I hate the helmet with a passion. And then for the Titans, it was just the arms. Uh, not that I hate them. It's just I couldn't find anything that looked good with them. And I just want to make this video real quick. So let me know what you guys think. Appreciate you guys. Other than that, be safe. I will see you guys later.